I caught my tenant red-handed twice. In parts one and two, you watched our tenant steal electricity and endanger their neighbors and knew that I was coming back in part three to do an inspection. Because this tenant is on a lifetime subsidy, I invited their subsidy program to inspect it as well, and they said yes, which never happens. So I didn't record the walkthrough, but I can tell you the power was still off, and we had a pretty lively discussion about how we could permit them to stay there without it being on, because obviously people will do dumb things that could cause a fire, and it's since been resolved. We've also had a discussion about the unauthorized occupants. Remember, she's getting a subsidy for her and her two daughters to live there, but there were at least five last names on the mailbox, and I know it's pretty common for people to scam Section 8, but this was pretty excessive. I know a lot of people are hoping for a dramatic confrontation with a bad tenant, but with challenging customers like these, the goal is really just to make sure they know you're paying attention and don't ignore it when they do something wrong. So whether you want to learn more about real estate or just want more crazy real-life drama, follow Two Guys Take on Real Estate.